time to end this. gonna make me wait. Greetings. Can I have a word? I am here to serve pilgrims who have come to venerate the goddess. But I don't Mine's more an earthly matter. What is it? Word is you've got a problem. Morkvarg. That's its name. Could tend to it for you. Do so, and you will greatly please the goddess. That's nice and all, but coins what pleases me. You look the type. Fret not, I shall pay. But only if you rid us of Morkvarg, once and for all. There have been those who have killed Morkvarg, but a curse has brought him back each time. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, Murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Alva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morkvarg, and he transformed into a monster. Could you be more specific? Monster can mean a lot of things these days. Folk have been known to call me that. I'm afraid I cannot tell you more. For hmm? You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morkvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here. Could use some information. Archpriestess Olva cast the curse. Mm -hmm, so you said. It bound Morkvard to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Farewell. The goddess protect you from all evil. You who grant his love, hatred. Clouds obscure Freya. the sky Freya. and turn our grips the Freya. sea. Grant, grant my blood strength and sword my mountains and with God in next my exposed. We serve our own and mother and crawl.
You're a you, dimwit. Drop one more and I'll keel haul you. Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nilfgaardian dogs were the hunters some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. All right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle, like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Friends, we show heart. Foes, we show our axe. Remember that. Respect, Richard. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shite. Not, not again. Not again. <laughs>
blood. Human. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Footprints. Light ones. Someone was being stealthy. of it. Deep wound must have been. Human blood. Lots of it. Deep wound must have been. Fight happened here. Human blood. Lots of it. Deep wound must have been. Monster tracks, running, chasing something. Untouched, no sign of feeding. Morkfrog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate, but the key. Where's the key? Why so silent, Ramund? You thief, you rogue, you horse son, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! Thank <laughs> you. 
It's the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Men <laughs> looted. <laughs> So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour turns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible. Terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns my throat. Throat. Like... Boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. <sighs> See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! <laughs> Some conversation. Not interested. What will you do? <laughs> what a witcher ought to. Friend, patient, doesn't mouth off. 